Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you the recipe of delicious fresh cream pineapple cake. So let's get started. To make the cake batter, we need half cup plus two tablespoon milk at room temperature. To the milk, add two teaspoon white vinegar. Give a good mix and let this mixture rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will slightly curdle and that's what we want. I'm going to bake this without oven but oven instructions are given later in the video. So in your kadhai, pressure cooker or pan, add some salt, place a stand and preheat at medium flame for 10 minutes. After around 10 minutes, the milk will slightly curdle. Use a whisk or a spoon and give it a whisk. Then add 2 tablespoon milk powder or dairy whitener. Half cup plus 1 tablespoon powdered sugar. 1 fourth cup oil. If you want to skip milk powder, instead of oil, I mean 1 fourth cup oil, use 3 tablespoon oil and 1 tablespoon melted butter. A few drops of pineapple essence. Mix well till the sugar is dissolved in the milk. Now sift together or directly add 1 cup all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon baking powder and 1 4 teaspoon baking soda. So gently mix the way I am doing. Use a hand whisk if possible and start from the center. Once you are done mixing, stop right there, do not over mix or beat the batter. You can gently fold and scrape the sides of the bowl with a spatula and then immediately transfer the batter to a 6 inch cake tin. Grease your cake tin with some oil or you can line it with butter paper or parchment paper. Spread the batter evenly. If you want to bake this cake in OTG or convection, you can see the instructions on the screen. But my pan has been preheating and I am going to bake this cake in it. So at medium flame for first 10 minutes and then at low flame for 35 to 40 minutes. Check your cake after 35 minutes and if it's done, take it out. Do not over bake. Over baking results in a dry cake. Now cover the cake with a cotton cloth and let it cool down completely. Once the cake cools down, remove it from the mold and remove the parchment paper if you have used it. If you want to level the cake, you can or you can skip this step. After that, divide the cake into 3 layers. If you are not comfortable dividing your cake into 3 layers, you can divide it into 2 layers. The cake looks spongy and delicious. Let's move to the next step. So here I've got some pineapple. In one bowl, I've got chopped pineapple and in a plate, I've got some pineapple pieces for decoration. So the chopped pineapple would go inside the cake and the pineapple pieces on top of the cake. And I'm using canned pineapple, so I'm going to use the same syrup. For cake frosting, we need cold whipping cream, approximately half cup to three fourth cup. Add a few drops of pineapple essence to it and whip the cream till you get stiff peaks. Place a layer of cake directly on your cake board or you can place it on your turntable and later shift it. Add some pineapple syrup. If you are using fresh pineapple, you can use regular sugar syrup instead of pineapple syrup. Now add some whipped cream and spread it evenly. Then add some chopped pineapple. Now place the second layer of cake and repeat this process till you get to the top layer of the cake. Now cover the entire cake with cream. You will have to add a little extra cream and later while shaping the cake you can remove the extra. Use an offset spatula or a scraper. If 
If you want, you can mix some cream with yellow gel food color and apply it the way I'm doing to create a nice effect. Use a cake comb to give the cake a texture. Next, I'm going to transfer this cake to my cake board. If you're not comfortable doing this, you can start decorating your cake on the cake board itself. I'm using a big star nozzle here. You can use your favorite piping nozzle. And final garnish with some cherry or karonda. So this is karonda. This is easily available. You may also place some pineapple pieces on top of the cake. And there you go. Our delicious pineapple fresh cream cake is ready. It's eggless, it's spongy, fluffy and delicious. Look at the beautiful layers. The cake has turned out really soft, moist and delicious. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!